this time we get to eat something yummy. Hum sahisa kariya jayenge. Welcome to Capricious Conversations. Thank you for joining us today. As you can see, this is another Capricious Conversations on location. And we are on location at one of my favorite places that I'm really excited about today because starting with this month and every month, we are going to do what we call, um, we're going to go on an ethnic cuisine adventure. And so today is so exciting because we are starting off with Indian cuisine. I love Indian cuisine. So we have a ton of stuff here that we are going to try and we are ready to go on our ethnic cuisine adventure. So break out the silverware. Break it out, break it out now. Break it out now, break it out now. Um, we're gonna start with some of the chutneys and for everyone else who doesn't speak Hindi, chutney is just the Hindi word for sauce. So we've got a spicy pickle chutney, we've got a mint chutney and a tamarind chutney. You guys can use the doll if you want. I'm just gonna use my fork. Probably not the doll, sorry, the naan. Non is bread. bread. Yeah. Non is bread. Which is delicious. One is and actually non yeah. is this specific flatbread. So the like non does not refer to like a loaf of bread that's roti, but this this non or this bread is non because it's flat. Okay, so let's start off with the spicy pickle here. Are we all tasting the same thing? We are all tasting the same thing. Okay. Mm -hmm. Very flavorful. I'm pretty sure I just ate a whole clove of garlic, which is part of what makes it spicy. <laughs> but it is so flavorful. And the carrots, the carrots really balance out the spice, so it doesn't yeah. like flame your face off. That's really good. All right, let's do tamarind chutney. Which one's that? That's this one. Tamarind is a seed pod. Mm. We don't really, but what I wanted to explore is things that we don't usually eat in American cuisine that you are missing out on, people. And tamarind, we don't use it a lot in American cuisine, but it is delicious. It's got kind of sweet undertones, um, but it's also got a little bit of a kick to it. All right, mint chutney. Mm, my favorite. What is that, mint? Mint chutney. Oh, that's good. It sounds good. Mm. Mm. Really refreshing. Pretty good. Izzy's like so happy. Like she's so happy right now. Yeah. Good. This is the first time on this show that I haven't made them eat something weird or disgusting. So everybody is really happy about this episode today. Okay, so moving on, we are going to move on to a meatball curry. Oh yeah. Also, so curry. Most people think that curry is like a single spice, or because you usually buy it in the grocery store in a bottle that says curry. No, a lot of it It's not. Curry is a bunch of spices that you mix together that forms um, that forms a seasoning for all sorts of foods. So, and there are also different types of curries depending on where in India you are. So let's try this meatball. It's actually not as strong as I was thinking it would be. But it is very good. Very good. Very good. It's kind of a more of a tomatoey based curry. There, I don't. You can see from the shot that I'll put up here. There's all different kinds of colors because there's all different types of bases and also different ingredients in the curry. So the more yellow ones have a lot more turmeric in them. The more red ones have the tomato paste and they also have the cayenne and paprika in them. So you get all sorts of different flavors depending on what you're eating. Okay. This is just regular old chicken tikka masala. Tikka masala. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Very good. And it does make you feel warm. It warms up your mouth, it warms up your throat. What do you guys think? I definitely it tasted that it doesn't have cheese in it. This one does not have okay. cheese in it, no. I don't know. It's got cream in it though. It tastes pretty creamy. Yeah. It is really creamy. With a little bit of spice. Yeah. It's really good. Okay, this is called um, paneer, and so paneer is kind of a it's a stiff type of cheese. Mm -hmm. Is that the same over here? Yeah. Okay. 
Paneer is a stiff type of cheese that it looks like tofu, but it's actually cheese based. Hmm. Better than those other cheeses. <laughs> yeah, this is a really good cheese. <laughs> yes, very good. Not doesn't stink. And actually, so I have a friend, um, one of my friends from India. Um, he's vegetarian, as a, as a lot of Indians are. Um, he's vegetarian, and so he was eating. We had a chicken pizza. I had a vegetarian pizza for him, but he. We also had a chicken pizza, and he mistakenly ate the chicken pizza because it, he thought it was paneer. Thank you for yeah yeah. We're good. So like halfway through it, he was all like, I was like, you'd realize that you're three pieces into a chicken pizza, right? And he was like. What? <laughs> Did he get upset? He was alright. Okay. So now we're gonna move on to sog. Sog is kind of a creamed spinach. It's a creamed curry spinach. That's good. It's spicy. It's not like normal cream spinach. I don't know. In, I like cream spinach anyway, but in America it can just be kind of like this limp and lifeless mush. Yeah. But Indian, the the sog has so many spices and flavors that it really, really wakes up your palate. Yeah. Really good. All right. Really good. All right, vegetable korma. This is like, this is a really turmeric based, um, creamy veggie yumminess. What kind of meat is in it? It's just vegetables. No. Oh, it's just, everything's just vegetables except for like the chicken. Okay. Mmm. It is super creamy. That one's a little bit more sweet. Mm-hmm. So it's probably got like a coconut milk in it. Oh, that's yeah. good. Mmm. It's really good. What I think it's funny is that like when we eat bad food, we're always talking, but like now it's like I'm eating such great food I can't even say anything. Like, <laughs> Israel's just so content right now. I yeah, know, it's like... so good. I can't say anything. <laughs> yeah, definitely. It's a nice reprieve from everything else we've eaten. Uh, this is alu, which just means potato. So this is a potato yummy curry with also some um, onions and. If there was one cuisine that I had to pick to eat every day for the rest of my life, it would be Indian food. I'm just going to be real. Yeah. Like this food is, is so really good. good. Really so good. delicious. Okay. We are going to try the dal. I think we're going to skip the tandoori chicken. Okay. We're going to try dal, which is lentil soup. Oh, do we dip it? Which you can dip it. it. Yeah, absolutely. This is lentil soup. We don't eat a whole lot of lentils in American cuisine, but we should because they're really good. And they're kind of like a superfood. They have a lot of really good nutrients for you. Isn't it tradition to eat lentils like after New Year's Eve or like, mm -hmm. yeah, on New Year's Day or something like that? Uh, Dal is pretty much a staple of the Indian diet anyway. <laughs> This is the tamarind chutney. So that with the tamarind chutney is very good. In short, there's not a thing that we've had here today that is bad. Everything no. is delicious. It's Thank so you. yummy. So just makes you warm inside, makes you happy. I love Indian food. Thank you. Big, huge shout out to Flavor of India. Thank you for letting us come in and film this Capricious Conversations on location. And thank you for providing this amazingly yummy food. Thank you. Thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. And thank you for sharing this video with all your friends. Let's go on an adventure. Saving Mr. Franks? No. Yeah, we don't have Finding Mickey. Oh, yeah, yeah.